Hi, I'm Scott Shannon, professional radio disc jockey and head pronouncedicator on the Z100 Morning Zoo. Ever since I was a baby DJ, I had a goal and a special dream. To work at the number one radio station in America's number one radio market. And on August the 2nd, 1983, that dream began to come true. It's eight minutes after 6 a.m., August the 2nd, 1983. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, radio station WHTZ signs on the air. WHTZ is owned and operated by Malwright Communications and broadcast at a frequency of 100.3 megahertz. Signing on the air, this is WHTZ. It's time to wake up. C100 WHTZ. Seventy-four days after that little baby radio station signed on the air, that dream became reality. Z100 became the number one radio station in the New York City metropolitan area. And thanks to our millions of listeners in New York, New Jersey, and Connecticut, Z100 remains one of the most listened to radio stations in North America. In addition to those loyal listeners, there were many people behind the scenes who helped that little baby radio station go from worst to first. The disc jockeys, the office staff, the salespeople, even the weird engineers. Shannon, you forgot the zoo! Oh yes, and the members of that crazy morning show known as the Z100 Morning Zoo. Hi, this is Jack Murphy. I'm the assistant zookeeper and head zookeeper on Tuesday mornings from about 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. And you won't hear me much on this album because I just started, but you'll get to know that name. Jack Murphy! I'm Claire Stevens. I handle news and information, the horrible scopes, and I'm the official resident ranger fan. And remember, this is our year. Sure, Claire! I'm Professor Jonathan B. Bell, public service director and writer, director, producer, and star of that world-famous Z100 community bulletin board. And the whole town's talking about it. I'm Captain Kevin, professional baby DJ, official Z Morning Zoo floor director, and supervisor of the Z Morning Zoo dialing for dingbat phone lines. You are the dingbat! And here's a voice you may recognize, Dr. Dave. Hi, this is Arnold. Let's party. No, no, this is Dr. Dave. This is Robin Bleach with Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous. No, 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 this is Dr. Dave. Hello, this is Dr. Who's Weisenheimer. No, no, this is Dr. Dave. Go, baby, go. Don't push it on voice to get funky, baby. Groove on it. James, James, get funky. That's enough. This is Dr. Dave. All right, I give up. Hi, this is Dr. Dave. Thank you. I'm Anita Benita, assistant zoo producer, the birthday lady, and queen of the mystery oldies. You are a mystery oldie! And I'm J.R. Nelson, official producer of the Z Morning Zoo and the heart and soul of the Zoo New Wave Garage Band. And it's my job to make these other geeks sound good. Good luck! This is Mr. Leonard, assistant public service director and part-time the toilist and all-around goober smoocher. We know! You're sicker than a dog! There you have it, the Z100 Morning Zoo crew. And now, the greatest hits from the Z100 Morning Zoo. Don Imus. Larry Booger. George Maxian. It's not the shark they're afraid of. It's... The Z Zoo in the morning. The Zizu in the morning, in the morning, in the morning, on Z100. Hello, this is Fast Freddy with the story of Z100, August 1983. Z100 hits the airwaves. Everybody laughs, ha ha ha, but not for long. Z100 beats WABC, WAPP, WKHK, WKQ, WBLS, WNBC, Quack Quack, and all the rest. With the Zoo cast, Scott Chine and Russ Britton, Jerry Nelson, Claire Stevens, Captain Kevin, John Bell, Mr. Leonard, Tired as a Dog, Mad as a Dog, Sick as a Dog, and Z Search, Cabbage Patch, Dolls, Free Money Giveaways, Mystery Oldies, Devil's Dance, Honey Wine, Pocket Wine, Michael Jackson, Ronald Reagan, New from the Booty's Corny Field, Larry Booger. Finally, the story breaks. Z100 is number one. Channel 5 News 2 in the town. Good morning, America. 74 days. Z100 goes from worst to first. Faster than it takes a letter to go from Brooklyn to East Hanover. Congratulations. This is Fast Freddy with a fast story of Z100.